Killing of unknown origin detected. Designated outsider. This is an undisclosed secret location. Please identify purpose or depart. Acknowledging receipt of emergency request. Explanation deemed acceptable. Clearance granted to Crucible. Outsider will deliver 150 units of copper. Compensation will be dispensed. Tobias, stand down. We have a visitor. Reminder, deliver required material. End of conversation. This, this is incredible. For so long we hoped for any visit. And the day has finally arrived. We see no one, ever. Your arrival is truly an historic one, but many fear what it portends. The societies have closed their doors and are arguing about what to do, while the rest hide to see which way the wind blows. Franklin would know what to do. He's the oldest among us. You should talk with him. Give it time, and I'm sure the others will come out. For curiosity's sake, if nothing else. Non-resident detected. Valid exception acknowledged. When your ship landed, I feared the robots would shoot you on sight. I am greatly relieved that they let you enter our community. But you come during a delicate time. Everyone will seek to use your arrival to further their own ends. As well you should. I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt, leader of the Pragmatist Society. You know your history then. I am in a sense, President Roosevelt. Everyone that lives here are clones. Some of us are clones of the greatest figures of history, and others, well, we don't rightly know. When we die, and some of us die quite often, we are brought back. I cannot imagine how strange this must sound to an outsider. then you must live a remarkably interesting life. After decades, centuries, of trying to figure it out ourselves, there is so very much we don't know either. The robots clone us for a reason, their so-called mission. But what that is, and what we should do about it, is something the societies disagree about. Sometimes violently. It's best you meet with the other societies, and after, I promise I'll explain the pragmatists' position on matters. Hmm. Please do. Word has been sent, so the street should be full again. There is more I would talk with you about, but I would not take advantage of your ignorance. Go speak with the Monirinus and Genghis Khan. Welcome to town, stranger. Consider me part of the welcoming committee. The name's Wyatt Earp, and I'd be most pleased if you'd use one of the spare rooms during your stay. For a modest fee, of course. You and me both there. <laughs> I'd do the best I can to uphold the law, but the societies make that difficult. I expect I've had as much success restraining Genghis as the Chinese did. I do what I can. Roosevelt and I are both of the same mind on that. <laughs> I can work with that. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. And by the by, I may have access to some essentials I've picked up over the years. Happy to sell them to you. I'm hoping you come back for some repeat business. I need to go out there. I want to see and do everything. I had hoped you would visit me. Good. Know that you stand before Queen Amanirinas of the Kush, queen of a dead kingdom on a dead world. 
but I earned my name, and even the sands of time cannot take it from me. You walk our land a few footsteps and think you know everything. If you don't believe me, no, you are not alone. Some clones deride me behind my back. I know this, but I feel in my bones that I am a Manirinas for true. The great and the terrible to those who would oppose me. I remember things no one has told me. Memories of faces, betrayers, lovers, allies, and enemies. And the smells, the right scent, and I close my eyes, and I can picture all of it so vividly. It aches my heart. My home, my kingdom. You are brave to call me out openly. But that is something I can admire. It is enough to say, I am who I am. Once, I called upon mighty armies. However, on Crucible I still lead. Have you heard of the Believers? Have you heard of the mission? We are the ones who will take our rightful place in these settled systems to bring in a new glorious age and break the endless cycles of oppression and greed. I do not care if you think my plan is insane. But what I want, what we want, is a chance to prove to the facility we are ready. When someone has achieved their potential, the facility is supposed to set us free among the stars, but the machines have been breaking more and more over the years, and no one has ever been deemed worthy. I need your help to properly fix the facility so that we can prove ourselves and claim our birthright. Then listen well. Outsider, you must go to the facility. The robots and what drives them is not here. The facility is where they come from. Somewhere far to the east. None of us can travel there. But you can go there, please. And see if the facility can be repaired. Then report back to me. If you had a life sentence, wouldn't you do anything to be free? Stranger! Weapons out! They come! You will be blown! The man from the stars. Come to see me. And you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I guess the world out there is not so different than here. Genghis Khan, a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> My namesake, yes. A terrible, terrible person. But me? I'm really just a lowly prisoner, stuck on this pitiful planet. I am pleased that the dangers out here are of no concern to you. You cannot be fully human if you trap yourself behind walls. You have nothing to fear from me. So Franklin told you of us. Oh. That we're clones? Some of us think that makes us special. That the deeds of our namesakes are somehow ours. But that is blind arrogance. We 
are just people. Same as you. Same as anyone. Would it? You would know better than I. Ah, but all this talk gets us nowhere. Too many of the others grovel at the feet of the damned robots, trying to play their roles in a broken game. The renegades will not submit, and one day, we will be free. If Crucible had not hobbled us, we wouldn't. I have died a dozen deaths trying to find a way out of Crucible. You get too far, or disobey too much, then death. Crucible holds our lives in its hands. But now, the robots have made a grave mistake. You... You can go where none of us can. You hold our future in your hands, and all the societies know it. Even if you think I deserve this cage, does everyone. If you want your heart strings tugged, talk to Amelia Earhart. Doesn't she deserve the stars she craves? You know of the facility, yes? Go there and make the machines let us leave. It is not much to ask, and it will set us free. So, you have heard from the other societies. I must confess I'm very curious what an outsider thought of them and their positions. You might be the first objectively neutral party we've ever come across. I couldn't agree more. The facility has gathered some of the most obstinate and dangerous personages throughout history. It has told them that they should lead in a golden age via whatever means they see appropriate. Setting us all loose and part or as a whole would invite disaster. We are barely fit to lead ourselves. Exceptionally so, but the pragmatists are different. It is evident that the facility is decaying. It is both unsustainable and unwise for us to fix and maintain the status quo. Our community must be weaned off the machines, learn how to build, grow, and govern ourselves, allowed to raise families so we can pass our lessons to the next generation and to die when our allotted time is finished. One day we will be worthy of going to the stars. We are just not there yet. You have no idea how profoundly grateful I am to hear that. Go to the facility and see what can be done.
Over here. Hey, we need to talk. Genghis and the renegades will... Let me see. Hmm. You have no idea what a reassurance it is to learn even these hints of our past. It sounds like the facility is in ruins, but perhaps the restricted section is intact? Think of the answers it must contain, and perhaps a way to help us become self-sufficient. But there is no security override code here. I, I would know. Think. Galathea's sister ship. <laughs> yes, if it can be found. Certainly, they had the capability of going into the heart of the facility. If anyone can figure a manner of locating the Beagle, it's Ada Lovelace. I'll radio her and explain the situation. I'm sure she will make every effort to assist. The mission is alive, but we have a chance to build a So we did come from a spaceship. Of course we did. And there's another out there? What was the Beagle? Why did she and the Galathea part? But all of that in time. First, we must find her. She's not in this star system. I would have spotted her. Hmm. The radio telescope. It has a default position. It resets every morning. I always wondered why point at Bell 5. Petty frustration I've dealt with for years. But perhaps the facility looks for her sister. Yes. Yes, it makes sense. I can send you the coordinates. The Bell Star system is not far. The facility communicates via a secure frequency. When you arrive, tune into that.
don't go. We can do the experiment here. The facility has everything we need. Our protocols say we are looking for planets with a 70% plus confidence level. The facility, barely 50%. And how many planets have we surveyed? On Earth, they didn't know what we would find. My friend, we are getting old. Too old. If we want to have any chance to start the experiment ourselves, the facility is in. When I was given my command, I swore an oath to adhere to the mission. Dr. Chang, you realize you are a mutineer. You abandoned us. The perfect is the enemy of the good. If you can't see that, I guess there's nothing more to be said. I am engaging the enemy. Franklin Roosevelt, we have an urgent situation developing on Crucible. Please, please, help immediately, before it's too late. Oh, thank God you're here. Genghis has issued an ultimatum. He will attack the Pragmatist Society with everything he's got, unless you meet with him. I fear Amanarinus is siding with him too. 
We are on the brink of war. A war I will not shrink from. Not when we are so close to victory. I will send a message. We are meeting under flag of truce. Something sacred to us. So, no matter how much he vexes you, keep your gun holstered. The Outsider, Franklin. Amanorinus, Genghis. I had hoped we would not be meeting like this after so short a respite from war. You drove us here, Franklin. Did you think we would let the Outsider just hand the Pragmatist victory? Stranger, if you do not change your course, there will be none of the Pragmatists alive to help. You want peace? Then let the renegades go free. Roosevelt can do whatever he wants with the others. This is not what we agreed, Genghis. Only those who have passed the test can leave Crucible. This is my test. Here and now. And I intend to pass it. In blood, if I have. If you let us leave Crucible, then the Pragmatists can do whatever they want here. With my blessings. Under no circumstances can I agree to that. Genghis specifically should never, ever leave this planet. So there it is. It is spite. That is why the great Franklin Delano Roosevelt drives Crucible to ruin. To deny me my own chance to live in the settled systems. Your namesake was a plague upon the world. Arguably the greatest butcher in human history. If there was even a fraction of a chance I would be unleashing that upon the stars, I would do anything in my power to stop it. Perhaps you are right. Amonorinus, the facility and its test and mission are flawed, broken. We all know it. And if you are allowed to author that test, then you control us all. So the answer is we are all imprisoned here? You leave us no choice but to join the renegades and end your society. Twenty years. What? We have to stand on our own two feet to earn a chance at freedom. So let the outsider reprogram the facility, and for 20 years we work together to make Crucible truly ours. And after, we institute a test, which we both author with mutual veto power, and any who pass may leave. Do not let the politician cloud your head with pretty words. You think I would accept this? We... We have been going in circles for so long. We could kill them, kill them all, and then we could dictate any terms we like. I only lead my people to battle when I must. Do you promise, Mr. Roosevelt, a fair test? One that we can pass in our lifetime? I will not make it easy, but it will be, as you say, fair. No! Amanorinus, this is a trick! Roosevelt has done many things that infuriate me. But his honor? I have never had to question. The believers will not fight. Let the gods decide which of you is right. I think you have the makings of a fine ruler yourself. You will regret this, Amanorinus. Mightily. Then we will meet on the field of battle. The heavens will judge who is worthy.
So be it. We have fortified the society, but this will never end until Genghis is dead. He is the linchpin. If you take him out, I know an armistice can be reached. Genghis is formidable. I know I am sending you into harm's way. Please be careful. It is over. Why does it always come down to force? I hope your settled systems has truly learned from the past. Clearly, we have not. <sighs> Humanity is capable of such wondrous achievement, but our own moral feelings dog us at every step. Please. Go to the facility and make it so that it will obey my instructions so we can finally grow as a people. Blood runs in the streets again. I had hoped, however naively, that we were past that. I do not hold you responsible, but your arrival was certainly a lethal catalyst. May I help you? So your mission to the Beagle was a success? Let me see. It is... done. There is a standard cipher used by the facility. It took me many years and, well, lifetimes to overcome. And now, the mysteries of the facility await you. I pray you choose what befalls us wisely. Advised that this is now I am unable. Repair not possible.
the blood. Always the blood. The only taste worse than victory is defeat. What was long sought after is upon us. Change. Not all on Crucible will approve of what you have done, but doing what is right is seldom easy or free of difficulty. You have given us all a chance for self-determination. Maybe in time we will be worthy of going to the stars. For some of us, that will be a rude awakening. You have my enduring thanks. And any time you need safe harbor, know that Crucible is here for you. I wish I was able to convince you of our...